Hello everyone, welcome back to Paul's Halls. It is May the 11th, it is a Wednesday, and I have three boxes here, uh, but before we get to that, Kelly Klein, our director, wants to talk about the art that is available at our library. Hey everybody, Kelly Klein here, and I just want to tell you about all of the fabulous artwork that we have on display at the library right now throughout the month of May. It is curated by the Selbyville Community Club, and it features artwork from kids who are kindergarten through 12th grade. So please come by and check out all the fabulous artwork that we have right now. And there will also be an award ceremony for the participants on Saturday, May 21st at two o'clock. So we hope to see you then. And now we are going to give you a sneak peek of what is available to feast your eyes upon at the library. Wow, those kids are really talented. I hope you liked that art. Now let's get to the books and see what we got this week. The first book is a large print book by Joyce Carol Oates. It's called Night Neon. The next one is by Laura Griffin and it is called Flight. It is a part of the Texas Murder Files. Ooh. This one is called Love in the Time of Birdie. It is by Alexander McCall Smith. And finally, we have a World War I novel from Alan Hawad. It's called A Light Beyond the Trenches. We have a children's book about the origin of Juneteenth, celebrating the end of slavery in the United States. This is by Elia L. Agostini. All right, next box. The first book from this box is a YA title. It's from uh, XEO. It's called The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea. And I love this cover. This one is a fan favorite. It's 
Adriana Trigonani. And it's called The Good Left Undone. <clears throat> Let's see what this one is about. Matilda, the Cabrilli family's matriarch, has always been brusque and opinionated. Now, as she faces the end of her life, she's determined to share a long-held secret with her family about her own mother's great love story with her childhood friend Silvio and with the dashing Scottish captain John the Re McVickers, the father Matilda never knew. All right. Next, we have a nutritional book. It's called The Whole Body Reset. It's your weight loss plan for a flat belly, optimum health, and a body you'll love at midlife and beyond by Stephen uh, Perrin. Next, we have a large print version of The Lincoln Highway by Amar Tolls. If you have this on hold on regular print, I would suggest putting it on hold on large print as well, because you never know which one you might get first. And then lastly, we have a large print version of Janet Ivanovich's Game On. This is a Stephanie Plum novel. So those are the books for this week. I will see everyone next week when we go through some more books. I know I'm excited. I will see you all then.